Welcome to another Transformers review. This time we're looking at the TFX04 protector from Fans Project, part of the Parallax uh, line by Fans Project. This is a third party product, one of the few that I've gotten, and this is the last one I've got. I uh, got this December of, oh, ten, of 10, 2010, I believe. Yeah which is right when it came out and this is one I was really excited for uh, box is pretty simple um, yeah you got warning stuff very simplistic but very subtle design open it up got, a, got everything in there oh and there's a spoiler came out yep there's the box Here's a little baggy of stuff. There's the protector armor itself. Gonna look at that later. Has this really cool little picture of protector there. Has a manual here, which has a really, really cool looking uh, comic, which is the exactly, um, well, not, which is totally different from the comic uh, preview pages that we got when this first came out, which was, um, Fan just kind of did his own little prelude. Got this little comic. Got the image of Convoy and Protector, or, sorry, Leader. I guess they want to call him, keep him, keep that copyright infringement off and then got the instructions here which are done in color but the instructions are real small and there's a lot a lot of steps and I'm still really confused I mean this is what year and a half old now and we still have no idea who this guy is supposed to be it says 20,000 BC I mean I don't know. I just don't know who that's supposed to be. They haven't really gone any much further than that. So anyway, let's take a look at the figure itself. So here we have the protector armor by itself, and <clears throat> by itself, it's a pretty decent looking piece. Um, just unless you have that. I mean, it's really pointless unless you have any version of the classic Zeronimus figure and for this review I'm going to be using the challenge at Cybertron or the reveal uh, reveal the shield uh, Rodimus <clears throat> as mainly because that's the only version of the figure I have loose at the moment yeah um yeah doesn't really do much to attach the Rodimus you spread open the sides take the Rodimus just pull apart the wheels and he'll slide in like so. They just close the sides up around them. Like that. Now, it doesn't look exactly G1 accurate, but I mean, it's the best I could do. It does have help that it has a uh, spoiler right here at the front. And if you had the Henke version with the chrome spoiler, if you get the sidearm. Uh, figure target master little guy it comes with chrome replacements for this so it adds a little bit more accuracy if you're using the Henke version I really do like has a kind of carved out flames here in the sides it, it is a very cool looking classics E Rodimus Prime just very updated and everything but yeah uh, it rolls real well Except for mine, okay, if I press down in middle, then the center, but sometimes the middle wheel will skip the roll, even on this flat surface, but it works fairly well nonetheless, so let's get Rodimus out of here and start showing off the many features that the trailer can do. Now to turn the trailer into the take mode, first thing I'm, we're going to do is I'm going to sp split open the sides. We're going to take off the uh, uh, 
actual armor bits and split everything open like this uh, these pieces come off here these will become the arms later on this will become the chest and the head these two little pieces here will become these little wing spoilers that will stay on and actually this is kind of backwards there you go this, these pieces will become the legs so that's actually a little bit less of actual armor this is more the whole trailer is more of this little uh, tank thing but what you gotta do fold this back up if I can why well, won't let me there you go Fold out these wings, S swing these around, and fold these back around. These little front pieces go to the front here. Actually, and uh, yeah, what fell off? Take the wheels here on the bottom and bring them forward like that you'll see here he has actually is a photon eliminator stored and you gotta pull it out real slowly because the connection is really tight and this is feels kinda weak it even says in the instructions please pull out slowly which is kinda funny and that's basically the little tank thing and you can flip this up and you can have sidearm there sit in as a little pilot yep pretty cool it kind of um resembles the how the trailer for G1 Rodimus Prime would transform but you can stick take it one step further turn it into an actual battle station which looks even more uh, G1 accurate. I guess just gotta flip out these pieces here. Extend that there. Lift up this piece here. That will eject uh, uh, Guardian is the name, which is just a Rodimacy roller. And yep, that's that's him. And I believe that is it for the battle station mode. And yeah, this battle station mode is a lot more G1 accurate, especially how this little uh, side rail or rail thing extends. And then you're left with roller. Well, now you're left with a whole bunch of random pieces that will form a protector and so basically all you really have to do for this piece is just slide off what will become the head like that and you're done with that go to each leg this is where it folds a lot take the black pieces fold them around actually before I do that one two fold this piece in and fold that up and fold up the heel. That's that. This part, this this part is kind of when I first got it, really had me nervous, especially with uh, this connection here, because it all of a sudden it can be real scary. And I figured out it's fine now, but there's so many little hinges that fold up over each other that it just. I don't know how to, else to explain it, but it's just kind of scary with how tight the hinges can be. And if you don't have everything perfect, then it feels like you could break something. Go to each arm, fold them out. 
this little piece folds out pull that out and in twist the whole arm around get one arm set that down go back to this arm which they which confused myself there we go you know, I actually, honestly, have a hard time remembering how to fold this thing back up when uh, putting him in back into trailer mode because it, it's there's no real rhyme or reason behind it. It's just kind of confusing. So, let's get Rodimus here into robot mode and combine. Rodimus Convoy, transform! And here we have protector in robot mode and wow this guy looks awesome this is exactly how I always imagined a classic style Rodimus Prime would look and it just looks amazing I wish I just wish more people were able to get a hold of this figure because it just completes the look of the classics hot rod mode take the gun and you can attach it to a uh, protector's gun and it creates his rifle. But wait, I actually got a fold out of this little handle. There you go. So, of course, it doesn't exactly match with my Rodimus figure because it's gray, but it still looks pretty awesome. Speaking of which, Forgot, forgot some. You can actually attach the gun here to the back of the trailer in vehicle mode. But anyway, roller here is pretty nifty. Uh, this has got this little spiral thing that you can actually attach two different sets of weapons on. You can attach it using a five millimeter port, or spin it around if you want it. If you use weapons with the three millimeter ports such as the classic sword so it's very versatile as you would say so as far as uh, protectors articulation it is a limited a little bit limited in the shoulder just because there's so much arm junk hanging off in the back but it's still decent got uh, elbows swivel uh, rotating fist uh, still no uh, no waist articulation because of this little doohickey here because of Rodimus he has a knee and th th these legs pieces are definitely the most finicky part to attach because they really attach super lightly and it doesn't take much force to knock them out but yeah, I got a little bit of movement in the feet as well. Yeah, and I just this even if you didn't have him imposed in any way, he would still look really freaking awesome. There's his head. A lot of people were kind of down on the head sculpt, but I like it. No Autobot symbol in the chest because it's not, but it kind of gives you a little space there if you want to add a repo label Autobot symbol or, or something. Never got around to doing that myself. But it does come with one secret accessory, and that is this. A lot of people are thinking the secret accessory would be a set of hand, uh, a matrix, but really, it's a. Uh, meant to go with your Hanke Convoy or Classics Optimus. I have a Hanke Convoy here. Uh, let's see, it goes 
on his hand like this and it'll mint it okay it is kind of awkward but when you actually get it down just right it does look really cool I think I'm doing it backwards there we go because <laughs> it's so loose okay stay 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 there we go so you can have them finally come into peace for the fans you know they're not enemies yeah sure Hot Rod may have accidentally killed Optimus, but he's not holding any grudges against him for it. It is a little bit harder to come by the original Protector release now, but if and it is pretty expensive. That's one thing that really turned me off from the uh, third-party uh, pieces is that they're really expensive. But for this price, you get a roller, you get a tank that converts into battle station, you get a cool armor, turns your hot rod into Rama's Prime, you get a really cool looking trailer. I think it's just barely worth the price if you can get it for like around ninety to hundred dollars. But I think you'd be lucky if you can get it for under for around a hundred because I think that the price, the value of this really went up since its release. I'm not 100% sure, but if you can get a great deal on it, if you like third-party products, I'd say give it a chance because I don't think I think you'll be it'll be very difficult to get disappointed with this figure. Until next time, thank you for watching.